View this video from the playlist to see the complete video content. We love our UltraFeed sewing machines and thousands of our customers do too. A great tool is made even better with various types of accessories. Here are some of our most popular and highly recommended add-ons. In this chapter, I want to highlight popular accessories for the Sailrite UltraFeed sewing machines. We have many optional components for your machines and we're coming out with new ones all the time. Let's take a look at some of our favorites. We've already talked about Sailrite's integrated thread stand and we've talked about the Sailrite Flex 20 Lite. Both of these items come standard with the Plus and the Premium packages and they're available as options for any of our, our basic machine packages. Beyond those two parts are probably our, our, our third most popular item is the Monster 2 balance wheel. This seven pound heavy wheel gives you a little bit more power, speed control, makes the sewing machine a little bit quieter, and it gives you the ability to manually operate your sewing machine. Let me show you how that works. We'll quickly show in double time how to remove the Power Plus wheel that comes standard with any of the Sailrite UltraFeed packages. And now we'll install the Monster 2 balance wheel from Sailrite. With the Monster 2 balance wheel installed, you can see that the machine really looks sharp. The other thing that I want you to know is that the Monster 2 balance wheel does come standard with Sailrite premium package sewing machines. Let's go ahead and put some fabric under the foot of the machine, and I want to show you, well, let's set back to full stitch length, and I want to show you that the machine still operates under electrical power fine with the wheel on, even with the hand crank handle in place. But if we want to manually operate the machine, what we want to do is we want to remove the power cord from the machine so we get it out of the way, and then we want to remove the belt so that we're not working the sewing machine motor at the same time that they're cranking the wheel. And now you are able to manually operate the machine quite easily. Each revolution of the flywheel is a stitch. And uh, you can clip along at a pretty good rate and it's very easy to do because of the weight of that flywheel. Once she starts turning, it makes it easy to penetrate and we're penetrating a full eight layers of marine grade sunbrella while we do that. For 2016, we've also come up with a new kickstand, and this kickstand is used in our new industrial carrying case, and it's much easier to install than our prior version. Basically, the kickstand just goes into a slot at the back of the case, and when you have the monster flywheel on your sewing machine, which, get, which makes the machine a little top heavy, it will keep the entire case from flipping over or toppling back uh, due to that kickstand kick stand support. The kickstand comes standard with all premium Sailrite UltraFeed sewing machines, and that's because the premium packages include the Monster 2 balance wheel. But if you add this balance wheel as an optional component to your machine and you have the industrial carrying case, I suggest that you get a kickstand. For machines without the Monster 2 balance wheel, there is a special prop designed in the motor bracket that allows you to tip the machine back without the need for the kickstand. Another accessory, and one of my favorites, is the five and a half inch magnetic guide. This guide comes standard with the premium package and is available as an option with all other packages. It has super powerful magnets, and once it's stuck to the bed of the sewing machine, it gives you a great guide to force your material up against to sew with. We'll use our markings on our needle plate and we're gonna set our guide at basically a half an inch. And then we have a piece of Sunbrella material that has already been pre-creased for a hem. And actually, let's move this, my hem's a little wider, let's move it to three quarters of an inch and see what that looks like. Yeah, three quarter of an inch is pretty perfect for this. Now all I have to do in order to get a really straight stitch along the edge of this hem, is I'll trap my threads like we normally do, start sewing, and then my job is simply to keep this right up against the edge of the guide like a table fence on a table saw, or a fence on a table saw. And you can see I can get just truly exceptional professional looking results with stitch placement using a magnetic guide. Binders allow you to put a 
special trim piece of material on the raw edge of a piece of canvas or carpeting, and we sell a variety of different sizes. This happens to be the one inch binder, swing binder, and it comes standard with the premium package. All other binders are sold as optional components. But while I have the binder in my hand before we show you how it works, I wanna point out that all Sailrite binders have a special stop that keeps the binder from being pulled into the foot of the sewing machine when you're sewing really heavy materials and there's a tendency for there to be a lot of pressure to pull the device into the foot. We are the only ones that put a special stop on these binders in order to make sure that they are fail safe. So in front of us we have the three quarter inch binder, the one inch binder, a one and a quarter inch binder which is a brand new binder with a wider, a wider jaw opening that is designed for our one and a quarter inch carpet binding and our one and a quarter inch acrylic binding tapes and we anticipate that this binder will be used for anybody who's making uh, floor mats or doing carpet edging on things like infinity uh, flooring material. So that will be out sometime in 2017. And then we also have our, our largest binder, which is a two inch binder, uh, which is designed for a two inch uh, facing slash binding trim in order to give you the width of a trim where you can still install fasteners in the edge of the material. So a uh, very handy device to have. All, all four of these are excellent quality binders and they're designed to work exceptionally well. In our opinion, they're the best in the marketplace. Feed the proper size binding into the wide end of the feeder's mouth. Then swing the binder into position. Insert the raw fabric's edge alongside of the binder's opening, being careful to feed the material tightly into the crease of the binder. There's no need to worry about the binding being folded as you sew. The binder takes care of that job. Simply concentrate on keeping your fabric pushed alongside the edge of the binder's crease opening and a perfectly finished edge covered in binding is accomplished. And the stitch in the binding is always as straight as an arrow. The table that I'm working on is one of the accessories that we offer for the UltraFeed sewing machine. This is the UltraFeed collapsible table and it, the legs do fold in so that it is quite convenient to store away. Uh, and you simply remove your sewing machine from it, pull the tray up, collapse the legs and push it under a piece of furniture. It's really a fantastic table. It is on the light duty side but it's designed to be portable and it's certainly robust enough to handle our sewing machine. You just get a little bit of vibration when you're using it. I use mine a lot and love it. The UltraFeed collapsible sewing table is exclusively sold at Sailrite. Order yours today. At Sailrite, we want your machine to be as useful as possible. And to that end, we have created a number of optional presser feet that can be used with the machines for special purposes. This is one of our newest ones. It is a double cording foot, and you can see that it has two grooves for the double welt, and this is the center foot that goes in place as well. Uh, this is for the LS1 sewing machine, and only for that machine. It's an optional component, but if you're doing upholstery work, it's a great one to have. We also have a variety of zipper feet available in both the right and left configuration uh, that are available for either the LSZ1 or the LS1 sewing machine. And for the LSZ machine, where you have a wider foot than you do the LS1, if you're doing a, a spongy or larger diameter welt cord, we have a special foot set that is designed to make that process a lot easier too. It's called the large cording foot set. Then we have other feet like leather feet which have a reduced track on the underside of the foot so that they don't leave as much damage or imprint on the surface of the leather material that you're sewing. So if you have a delicate leather, we have optional feet that will help you sew that type of leather. Those components are simple. Uh, add on to the machine by releasing the screw that holds the standard foot in place on either the inside or, or the, the outside foot bar and sliding the new one on and all the way to the top and tightening the screw. Very simple installation, great accessories to have depending upon the projects you're doing.